what I'm going to show you today is um, what I do with setting up a template. Now, I create a template of a project so that whenever I need to um, start a new project, I just copy that template, rename the copied template as per the project that I'm working on, and therefore you're not having to build a brand new window every time you want to start a new um, a new project. So let's go a new session. We're going to call it a template. Um, save, and it's building the window. So this is going to come up as a, um, a blank window, I think, if it's doing the right thing for me. Come on, come on. There we go. So there's the blank window. Now, on uh, on Windows, if you're operating on Windows, I think it's Shift Control N for new tracks, and on the Apple, it's Shift Option uh, Shift Apple. Yeah, Shift Apple N for uh, for new tracks. We're going to create, let's say, eight new tracks. Hit create, and um, I've I've created them all as mono tracks. I'm just going to go back to that. So I created them as mono tracks. If you pop them into stereo, you're kind of limiting and locking yourself down as to the movement that you can make on individual tracks. So I create everything as a mono track, and then what we do is we go in and pair up those tracks. Just need to unselect each track at the moment. Then, uh, if I want to pair track one and track two, you just um, holding down the control key, you just select those, control and click on them. Then it's shift, con uh, shift control G. No, maybe just control G. There we go. Just control G. Group one, calling it. So now, whenever I do anything with, um, if I go to try and do something on track one, it's going to have track two involved with it as well. Okay. If you now go shift control G that will unlock that grouping so you can move on to each track individually now um, and to toggle it back again shift control G once again and there you go they're paired up again on the Apple it's shift Apple G to toggle between the uh, the locking and the unlocking of the paired tracks so you just go through and you do that to each one that you want uh, track three and four now control G that's going to be group two or you can label it whatever group you want to um, four and control five then do control G and there you go, group number three. Okay, so you go through and you group them and then what you do, you bring up your mixing window and you pan the little buggers left to right. Okay, so now you've got your stereo tracks across two mono tracks and then uh, as I mentioned down the track you can um, further on down the track when you're doing editing you just got a lot more freedom when you're working on those mono tracks. So hope that is of some help.